man. Good. The ThinkPad T480 has been one of Lenovo's best-selling 14-inch business laptops in 2018, and with good reason, Roll On 2019 and the eagerly awaited successor, the T490, has launched. Can Lenovo improve on the impressive T480 all-rounder? Let's see if the ThinkPad T490 is refined on the screen, design, and upgradability. The first noticeable design change on the T490 is that the engineers have shaved some excess fat compared to the T480 at 1.58 kilograms for this full HD touchscreen review model. It has an overall smaller footprint and it's thinner at 18.9 millimeters. The design is typical ThinkPad, not exactly exciting look, but workhorse-like. You can tell it's been tested against 12 military grade requirements. Everything feels solid from the display lid to the typing wrist rest. The T490 is covered with a soft touch paint that makes it easy to handle and grip, but boy does it smudge easily, especially watermarks. Lenovo has made the T490 bottom cover harder to open and close compared to the T480 as it's secured by six screws and annoying clips, unlike the X390 and the T490S that only have the screws to worry about. More on the upgradability later. The display panel is a full HD IPS 1920x1080 touchscreen. Brightness is at around 300 nits, 50 nit more than on the T480, and you can use it outdoors thanks to the matte anti-glare panel. Blacks are good on this display with an excellent contrast ratio. In direct sunlight, the picture appears a bit grainy, not uncommon for matte panels. Adobe RGB is average at 62%, but sufficient for common office jobs. Creatives look at the optional glossy Adobe Vision WQHD HDR panel at 500 nits with 100% sRGB and Adobe RGB. Be warned, the HDR will eat into the battery life compared to the frugal 1080p panels. Lenovo also offers full HD privacy guard and full HD low power panels. The bezels have been reduced by 22% on the T490 compared to the T480, making it just a bit less embarrassing against the competition from HP EliteBook and Dell XPS. On the right side of the laptop, you have the smart card reader, USB 3.1 Gen 1, RJ45 Ethernet, and Kensington lock slot. On the left, you have a USB-C AC power, USB-C Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, USB 3.1 Gen 1, HDMI 1.4, headphone mic combo, and micro SD card reader. Around the back is the micro SIM slot for LTE 4G connectivity on the go. Bluetooth 5.0 is present on the T490 along with the Intel Wireless AC5960 card. Wireless connectivity was strong throughout testing, helped by the 2x2 AC adapter. Streaming Spotify music to a nearby Bluetooth speaker was smooth and stable. There is no NFC on this review model. The two USB-C ports combine to allow an optional ThinkPad Pro docking station for additional ports and external display options. The keyboard the hasn't changed much from the T480. Cupped keys with perfect key travel, two levels of backlit keys on a spilt resistant keyboard. The ubiquitous ThinkPad track point with red pointer knob is present in the middle of the keyboard, along with its own physical buttons above the touchpad. The surface of the touchpad is smooth and works perfectly using Microsoft's Precision drivers. Multi-gesture is supported and the buttons click quietly on the 10 by 6.8 centimeter pad. A new feature on the T490 is the user facing dual 2 watt speed speakers above the keyboard with Adobe Audio Premium. Previously, the speakers on the T480 were below the wrist rest. What a difference this has made to the audio by moving them above. Loud and clear sound for small group presentations and a spot of Netflix in the hotel room. The usual 720p webcam with Think Shutter Privacy Slider and dual Farfield microphones allow video conferencing with your colleagues. Video quality is average but acceptable. One noticeable change from the T480, the engineers have tweaked the slider mechanism on the T490, making it far more fit to slide open and shut. Thank goodness you don't have to do this too often. The T490 includes a few security options like fast online identity, FIDO, authentication capabilities, DTPM 2.0, a secure match on chip touch fingerprint reader next to the touchpad, think shutter for webcam privacy, an optional IR camera above the display, optional privacy guard display, smart card authentication and a Kensington lock slot. This T490 review model comes with the Intel Whiskey Lake 8th Gen i7 
7565U quad core, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 8 gigabytes on board, Samsung PM981 M.2 512 gigabytes of SSD with 3000 megabyte per second read and 1800 megabyte per second write. During the four weeks testing the T490, the device was always very responsive from the combination of the S7 CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM and the fast Samsung SSD. The CPU performance is not throttled on battery power, unlike the HP overzealous thermal management. In quiet mode on battery power, the fan never kicked in while working on an office suite app, checking emails, video streaming on Prime Video and a spot of gaming on the App Store. Under intensive load, you'll hear the single fan kick on once in a while, but it doesn't get noticeably loud. Working in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019, encoding a 1080p video or Photoshop CC editing multiple image layers was a breeze. As with the T480, the Intel UHD Graphics 620 GPU is strictly not for playing games. Only a few older games in the Microsoft Store will play at acceptable frame rates. There is an optional NVIDIA GeForce MX250 GPU. Note the rebadged 25 watt MX250 offers almost no performance benefits over the 25 watt MX150. It will, however, give you the ability to play popular, undemanding titles like Fortnite, DOTA2, or Overwatch at 1080p. One of the big changes in the T490 is the internal 50 watt hour battery that is now non removable. To compensate, there is rapid charging feature, juicing up from MT to 42% in about 30 minutes, 73% in around 1 hour, and 2 hours to fully charge using the 65 watt AC adapter. Battery life is between 6 and 7 hours. Under load, expect 2 to 3 hours. Three pros and cons before buying the Lenovo ThinkPad T490. Top dog keyboard. If you want the very best typing experience and you type a lot, the ThinkPad keyboard is very hard to beat. Keys are a good size, long key travel, and precise, quiet keystroke. Generous port selection. Lenovo have kept the tried and tested port selections from the T480. A full size gigabit Ethernet is always useful when Wi Fi might be patchy or slow. Two regular USB Type A ports alongside two USB Type C ports and allow your accessories to be connected. The T490 can drive a total of three different screens via HDMI and Thunderbolt 3, thinner and lighter. The ThinkPad T490 is slimmer and lighter than ever, bringing it closer to its more expensive cousin, the X1 Carbon. Weight wise, it's almost perfect with ultrabook lightness, but a full complement of features found in a bigger laptop. Less upgrade options. Controversially, the T490 has 8GB or 16GB of soldered on memory. There's now one memory slot instead of the two in the T480, up to a maximum of 48GB. The second hard drive caddy has also disappeared on the T490. You have to move up to the T590 to have this option. Shame as one could have easily extended the storage with a cheapish 2.5 inch SSD. No power bridge. Another major change in the T490 is the battery is non-swappable. Previous models allowed you to swap out batteries with larger capacity ones to keep going for hours. Instead the T490 is moving in the same direction as smartphones. Rapid charge your laptop for 30 minutes or so to get 50% battery life. For some people this won't be a problem, for others stick to the 480. Function key. Is it just me or do you end up hitting the function key by mistake instead of the control key when copying and pasting? Lenovo, please please could you swap the function and control keys around? The ThinkPad T490 has taken some of the small faults of an otherwise brilliant Ultrabook with the predecessor 480 and improved on them. Performance is great. It's more compact and lighter, therefore great in the hand. The screen bezels have shrunk and the screens are brighter. It's also covered by a generous three year warranty. The sleeker design is at the detriment of flexibility. ThinkPad diehards will turn up their noses at the use of soldered RAM, the removal of the second storage bay and the flexible power bridge feature. For the rest of us, the ThinkPad T490 is clearly the Swiss army knife of a business laptop. Highly dependable, liable, tough and advice that delivers in any situation. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad T490 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.